It's not dropping. He was holding it back. What a jerk. Hold up. <laughs> <There's> a... <laughs> Die. I can't even laugh. Welcome, everybody, to the Falcon One Shot. On the agenda, we have Chadwin here today. This right here is a very interesting stealth-oriented title. It's not very conventional by any means. It's not like your Metal Gear Solid. It's not like your Splinter Cell. Maybe even Hitman, even though Hitman's a bit more action-oriented these days. But there is a bit of a stealth mechanic still in Hitman series anyway. But that's neither here nor there. Chadwin kind of takes more of a strategic approach to stealth mechanics. Essentially, in Shadwin, you're allowed to pause and just freeze up the game on the spot. And if you make a really big critical error, you're also allowed to kind of rewind time a la Prince of Persia or something like the old Sands of Time games or whatever. You're actually allowed to rewind time if you make a really big critical error. So it's kind of forgiving in that regard. I mean, you could switch it up to like, you know, a higher difficulty if you want to, but the mechanic is definitely in place right there. If you make a mistake, you are allowed to rewind time and clear up your mistake, which, you know, for me, it's kind of like a saving grace because I make a lot of mistakes in stealth based games. So that's really a plus for me. Um, other than that, though, Shadwin is also the story of um, your character, I guess. Maybe Shadwin, maybe that's her name, I'm not sure. But you're on your way to assassinate the king when you stumble upon his little girl kind of being harassed in a really awkward way by a guard. We'll just leave it at that. And unfortunately, this girl is, um, you know, homeless. And she decides to stick with you. And you decide to eventually let her come along on your way to assassinate the king. So, that comes into play because she will be helping you in the game but at the same time, you kind of have to get her from one point to the other one as you sneak around to try to get to the point to the castle where you kill the king for whatever reason the story might be providing with you over time. So, that is kind of like the rundown of Shadwin over here. My name is Lily. Hmm. Are we headed towards your home? No, we're not going home. Do you know any stories? I love stories. No. Alrighty guys, so we're good to go over here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why you're out to kill the king, as I mentioned. Uh, I'm not sure. You're obviously a cold-blooded assassin, so I'm not sure if it's just completely financial. Although it does seem when you go by the guards, you'll hear them talking about the king and just the current situation of the land, so maybe there is more to it, but I can't really speak on that. But I do enjoy that even though you're a cold-hearted badass killer, you obviously have found a, f a soft spot for this little girl over here, Lily. Now, Lily will be controlled by the AI. You could actually guide her where you want her to move things of that nature, and um, you can also run in real time by holding down Q. So at the moment, if we're not moving, the game is frozen. But if you want to have, like, say, spot a route, like this guy's over here walking about, right? If I hold down Q, I can figure out what his route is and kind of plot around that. And we also have a bit of a hook shot where you can kind of climb onto the roofs and stuff like that, which does make it easier for you. And a lot easier for us, for us to figure out a path for Lily as well. So right now, let's start off by getting up here as soon as possible. As I mentioned, it might be a bit weird just because whenever I stop moving, the game freezes, but you know, it's it's all running still, don't you worry one bit. So Lily's over here. Now, wh where's your route at? You keep going all the way around, perfect. So what that means for me is then that I could do this. So here's what I want to do. Lily, come over here. And then I'm going to move this barrel this way. Now, by doing that... He's going to go and check that out, obviously. I'm not sure why he has to move all the way from his post when the, the bear moved just in front of him. He is, call, he is um, blaming the Dark Spirits, though, not me. So that, that's fine. Lily is kind of hanging back. What I want him to do is... Well, he's going down this way. You know what? Forget about that guard. This is your time. All right, go around. Go around. Perfect. Go around. There you go. No, don't rewind time, Falcon. That's not T. That's R. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. And go over to that haystack now. There you go. Alrighty, so we got her beyond this point, which is, you know, kind of like the first really tough part here. Now we have to get over there, but ours is easy. We just jump around. Stop. Technically, you don't want to fall down that way because that's actually kind of bad. Let me just um, lower Croft on over here. Nothing there. And we're fine. Okay. You can hide dead bodies in bushes or haystacks. Now, I'm not sure if we talked about this, I think I mentioned it, but if you kill anybody, which is an alternative in this game too, it makes it a lot easier, obviously, if you want to kill people and just hide bodies. But if you kill somebody, the game will let you know that it's going to change the, the story on you. If Lily sees you killing people, it changes the story. I'm not sure to what degree, but I imagine this can't be good. So I normally take the passivist route where I try not to kill anybody. This is the easy way to do this. 
you push the thing itself. There you go. <laughs> I like how they walk when they're like, you know, crouching about. That's some like hardcore squat days right there, man. So when you come over here, Lily should be following me along. Now this one's going to be relatively easy. We need to get to those switches. Now Lily has to hit one of them right here, and I have to hit the other one so that's for that to open up. So homeboy here definitely needs to move out of the way. So I'm going to do is send that, and we'll just pull a little bit here. Was that really not enough to is alert you? Prime. There it is. Now go check it out, Donk. It's all good. Now the AI is very, as you can see, the AI is very uh, modest about its own degree here. As long as you get close to the switch, it'll click down as well. So here goes around. Let's go, Lily. We're done here. Okay. And she'll go to the haystack over here, and we're fine. Now this part can be a bit tricky. I'm going to be using a lot of sound for this one, if I'm correct here. So, first and foremost, let me just jump up here. This guy probably noticed me over here doing my Batman thing. That's okay. That's quite all right. Um, we will go up through here. Okay. Now, what I want to do is get Homeboy to obviously ignore that area so he could live Lily, Lily alone. Oh, he's looking. Oh, he's looking at the roofs. Is what happened. No, oh, well, Lily was able to just get through just fine. Alrighty, well that works out. Sure enough, over there. Great. This actually makes it a lot easier for us because I had a lot of tr trouble with this um, map off camera. At least the beggars are getting sensible and I stop. I think I saw someone. Did you? And that was my mistake there. I I always fuck this up. Like I know you're not supposed to jump. The moment you, the moment you click over here, all you have to do is just scroll up. At least the beggars are getting sensible. And it'll stop trying to get kind of like weirdly, mechanically, if they were smart, set you up here. There we go. Okay. I'm trying to take a good look at what's happening over here, so let me just run this in real time. Alright, this guy's gonna walk. Take a little walk over here. This guy's over here sconing down. Lily's over there. Hmm. Technically speaking, I don't have to go down that route. What is what I could do, I guess. Let me just drop down here if I can. Oh, I saw something, did you? Yeah, yeah. You'll probably go check it out, that's fine. Go check it out all you want. What I want to do right now is... Let's see. We could get to Lily without having to go to the roof, actually. Can I get this box up? Doesn't seem like I can. Now, is this going to alert the guard here? No, we're fine. Okay. I normally go down that route, but this one might be a little bit easier. So, Lily... I'm not sure why Lily is booking it the other way now. She's not supposed to be booking it that way. Now, let me bring this downwards here. So go turn around. I have no idea why Lily has now decided to go all the fucking way back there now. Nothing here. Alrighty, well. <laughs> sure. I guess, if that's how you're going to play it, personally, I think it's a bit silly, but sure. It worked. You got it to that point. I'm not sure why she's going back now, randomly. Not supposed to happen. Is that a chest over here? That might be a chest here. Ooh, hey. Didn't see that one the first time around. What is this? What are these? Okay, we do have an inventory here. What are these supposed to be? What did I just pick up? Ornate cross. They say these crosses ward off evil spirits. Okay, what is this one? Ooh, a pressure mine. Ooh. So, that here. We need to get some gears, maybe something in a sack and some sort of um, bowl. And we can make a pressure mine. Okay, cool. This guy here. So you post up here. I will talk to you kind of soon. Let me go out here and figure out what to do. There's a guy right in front of me. There's something in those woods out there. I was with the king when we rode out to burn the dark spirits. You could actually hear them talk and do whatever they have to do. Not exactly, no. I guess that's how you kind of figure out the story of the game here, too. But Let me come down this way first. Come on. Watching get, get up here. What are you doing? Uh, must have been. There you go. Alrighty. So, 
Lily's right below. This should be easy. All we really have to do, I think, is just bring down this set of, like, jugs here. And that should distract all three of them for us to kind of book it over on that side. So, let's see. Just move that down. There it is. Let go of it. And that should alarm everybody. What is this thing? Lily, go to that bush over here. Oh, we're still missing this guy. Yo, dog! Go help out your bros! Go pee part of the team! You wanna be part of the team or what? Come on, buddy, go check it out to yourself. No, you're not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Alrighty. Let's see if I could figure out something else for him. Oh, they're all coming back now, too. I don't think I could have... Nah, I could have sent her down that way as well. Alrighty. What if... Can't reach that just yet. Let me get up here. So what if we... Did you hear that? Move that down. Alright. Now we'll send her... That way. And he's over there patrolling about. There's another haystack over there. Go, just rush it, rush it, rush it, rush it. There you go, good, good. Very nice. Very good job, Lily. Okay. Now we proceed. And we're almost actually to our destination here. I think that leads us to the crypts, which is where we're headed to. There's one guard over here right at the start of this little area. Those stairs, anyway. Uh, presumably... All I'd really have to do is maybe... Pause it. There we go. I think all I really have to do is move this barrel back. What sound? And Lily will get through. And then I... Take the advantage as well. Get through, can I get through, can I get through? Let me get through! We got it! Okay, cool. Alrighty. We'll do this last part and probably wrap it up over here. Um, let's see. I think we're going to start off by coming up this way. Now, this over here is kind of locked up. We have to go all the way around, if I'm correct. So, and up through here. Should just be able to jump up. No, can't jump up. All right. Here we go. Two guards. Oh, they'll never notice. <laughs> there it is. Okay, cool. They'll never notice what this box is doing just hanging up over here by this roof. Now, Lily should be able to run into those bushes over here, presumably. Go for it. Or just the entire way around. What a fucking little baller. You just made this a lot easier for me. Hey, good job, Lily. Okay. I was going to do like a step-by-step -step process. Have her hang out there, then do another noise, and then have her wait somewhere else. But no, hey. She has simplified life for me. Now we have is this guy over here left over. Oh, shit. Now they're following, though. Yo, guys, go back to your um, routes over here. It's all fine. It was the Dark Spirits, after all. You know the Dark Spirits. They're hanging out all the time. All right, so this over here. What's this? Easy enough. Don't fall off. Don't you fall off. Let go of that. Let's go, Lily. I am the sound. Oh, come on! We were we were gone. That's fine. Let's have Lily just go forward a bit more. Uh, let me run this in real time. I think he might have heard me when I just splashed down. Up oh, there he goes. Have him. Go patrol. There it is. Sometimes just going too early is going to kind of get you fucked there. That's fine. You know that one? Sun Crouch? Let's go, Lily. Into the crypts we go. This is like some Dark Souls area bullshit right here. Another guard right over here. Alrighty. Let's go come up there. Alrighty, but you guys get the idea of what I'm Shadowing's all about. But before we wrap it up, let's actually do a murder. I'm going to drop this shit on his head. Believe me, I will. Come on, dog. I know you have to walk back this area again. All right, let's see if we can time this properly. Nope, let's not fall off ourselves. Huh? There was a noise. Oh no! Too early, too early. Hold up, hold up. That should just about do it. Who is it? Oh, missed him! Oh, what a dick! And that was probably. There was a noise. Too late. Heard a noise. It's not dropping. He was holding it back. What a jerk! <laughs> oh my god, 
I, I can't even laugh. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, man, that's too good. That's just too good. Oh, God. She's over here just flopping on the ground like a fish. Okay. Bad idea. He's the luckiest man of all time. He just never dies. The man of a million lives over here. Fucking kill you regularly then, huh? Oh my goodness, God! Oh! That was even worse. Alright you guys, Shadwin. Description below will have all the information for the game. I will catch you next time.